through Mr. Kesha's teaching how to create the nanomaterial, it is not only getting clear that nanomaterial is essential to the understanding, either it's the beginning or the end of this technology. The reason why uh, we're making a we're making a plus. There is two other very in information source sources to this nanomaterial. So when we are listening to Mr. Kesh and always in the beginning, where you have the picture of the globe with Mr. Kesh's voice in a kind of an echo, talking about the human race and technology. He's mentioning zinc and copper. He doesn't go further. That's a very particular meaning. The reason why Mr. Kesh is saying, and if you put some copper to it, and if you uh, add some zinc to it, he doesn't mention iron or titanium or gold or silver. Only copper and zinc. Well, the reason is simple. Copper and zinc is well-being. It's a total understanding and the key to illumination of a human being. Copper and zinc, all in all. The reason is because copper represents the key to the full understanding on the genetic part of a human being. And sync represent the emotions. And of course, if you put them two together, you get energy. A very angry human being measured in energy is clear. We call it low energy. But it's out of discussion that it's energy. Like temperament. We don't know what it is, but we surely know what it does. If we put sync and copper as we know it, Gans, Gans soup, that's how we create it, into the cells and the molecules, we can start to wonder how come that it's healing? Well, cells and molecules pretty much fills up an atom. And everything that we can see, touch and feel are made out of atoms in this three-dimensional world. Everything is atoms. But it's on a distant, quite a distant observation to just call it atoms. If we want to enter and see what makes the difference between lower consciousness and high consciousness, it seems to be a hierarchy. And this hierarchy are in short based on molecules and cells. And those molecules and cells can hear a voice as much as it can see the light. So the sunlight are producing plasma. And Mother Earth are producing oxygen and hydrogen with some nitrogen. Nitrogen always comes from the upper part and goes down to Earth. There is no nitrogen coming from Earth up to the oxygen. So Mr. Kesh says that when you leave this planet, and he doesn't refer to dead human beings and the soul, but when you leave this planet in the physical, uh, with the physical matter, the further up you go, the more life is based on nitrogen, not oxygen and hydrogen. And that's interesting, because if that's the case, and I believe it is, it can explain why creatures doesn't really look like us. If they are more uh, based on nitrogen than oxygen and hydrogen. And in short, we call it coal-based 
Car car carbons. <laughs> but the carbons uh, are now in a great challenge, especially referred to the human race, because when you look at the new behavior in the last 30 years in nature, plants and animals, they don't seem to have a problem with the, with the changes as carbon-based. But we have a problem. We do have symptoms. And this is coming from the DNA. But the plants and the animals are, are having fun with this. We don't have much fun with this. Well, we, we could have fun with it, like, like plants and animals, but uh, we have a war going on inside. And I think that's the third world war, the last one. The third world war is happening as we speak, inside the body. The, one of the most important things to realize about electricity is that there has been a, a bad reputation when it comes to electricity. It has, this is a current. Current is a verb. Something is running. And we simplify it, calling it negative and positive. We, that's a really simplification. There is a reason why today there is nobody on this planet who knows exactly what electricity is. And, but we know what it does. And we even know how to create it. But we still don't know what it is. And this electricity has a great, unfortunately, tendency to uh, collect decay. And the worst decay that it's collecting is cold garbage and nuclear garbage. Those two combined can explain easily the reason why so many people uh, have cancer. Plasma technology are providing a fresh, new energy. And there is a clear understanding that this fresh, new energy is natural 